morning, everybody. This is Mythica and today I'm doing another Shrek request of videos. Request by KaijuZilla621, and he requested me top five NECA figures I want to see to be made. And this is only Godzilla Kaijus. He told me just Godzilla Kaijus, no Gamma, no Ultraman, no nothing of that, nor Godzilla Incarnations, just Godzilla Monster specifically. That's what he told me. So I did my list, and um. Here we go, let's just might as well just start with this list. So number five is Megagirus. Megagirus actually appears a lot in my top five. Like as in number five. A lot. I don't know like why. I guess she's lucky, but at the same time unlucky. But anyways, into the discussion. Megagirus, the Bandai figure, there's two Bandai figures that exist that are like different. There's one that's a theater exclusive version that's like a red silver bluish like color you know it's like a mixture of those three and then there's the other one which is a you know the regular bandai many years figure that comes in a blister pack with the Godzilla 2000 with the orange spikes or whatever um so yeah but there's no super articulated many years figure unfortunately rebel tech hasn't made one as monster Arts hasn't made one NECA hasn't made one yet um and what's really disappointing about those two Bandai figures is that you cannot do Megagirus' Tremar move, which is her stinging her opponents with her stinger. You cannot do that because the tail is like straight, you can't bend it. So that's what really, really, really sucks. And if I want to use Megagirus in a movie, then I literally have to turn the figure around and it's going to look incredibly, incredibly weird. So if NECA does one, or SN Monsters does one, you know, whatever company, in this case NECA, then it would be awesome if they can make the tail bend, which most likely that's going to happen. Hopefully. And please, NECA, don't make it bendy wire. Please don't make it bendy wire. I'm already tired of bendy wires, honestly. I'm already tired of that. So that's number uh, five. Number four is Godzilla Sidekick, or Godzilla's Best Friend. Anguirus, yes, the mutated ankylosaur, as that's what Wikizilla said, that's the origin. Some people say it's like from space or something, which is kind of weird how Anguirus will come from space. Makes no sense. But anyways, I'm um, into the discussion. Uh, Anguirus, no, actually, yeah, there is a super articulated Anguirus figure, the 68 version, I believe it was. It's from uh, Rebel Tech. But um, one thing that I don't really like in Rebel Tech is that uh, the sizing. Like, they're too small. Like, that's what I don't really like. I mean, I have smaller figures than probably Rebel Tech, honestly. But, um, still, like, I want to, like, if I want to use the Angriest in a movie and I wanted to fight, like, a, for example, Godzilla 2000 or something, then it would be incredibly bad sizing. Horribly bad sizing. And just by looking at it, you'll be able to know who will win easily. I mean, if an Angus is six inches tall, then, you know, if it's a good scale, and I'm, and I'm doing a movie, the audience will think, well, this is a little more of a tougher competition for Godzilla than a way smaller Godzilla monster. So, um, you know, I can't really even use Rebel Text for my movies or whatever, if I want to, which I'm not planning to, honestly. Maybe the Baragon I might use, but I don't know about that. But anyways, um... There's also some Bandai figures of Anguirus, uh, more like plenty of them. There's the uh, Memorial Box Godzilla, excuse me, Anguirus 1955, uh, Memorial Box, what is the Memorial Box? No, I'm doing the Memorial Box, but the um, Bandai 68 Godzilla, the regular one with the brown skin. And there's another one with Godzilla Island Anguirus from Bandai, which has silver skin and it's like very glossy looking. And the Final Wars is like a lot of incarnations, like a lot of figures for the Final Wars, a lot of theater exclusives and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, that's, I think that's basically it for Bandai. Not super articulated series because I already said that Revel Tech made one, just Bandai. And I actually want to see specifically the 1955 Anguirus because there's like literally no figure for 1955 Anguirus. I mean, there isn't a more boss Anguirus 1955. That's basically the same exact sculpt as a 68 Bandai Anguirus, which sucks. I wish they actually made a whole entire new sculpt for Anguirus 1955. 
So let's see that. Come on, let's see that. I want to see Angerus 1955 be made as a NECA figure. So that's number four. Number two, excuse me, number three is Gorosaurus. Um, yeah, Gorosaurus, very generic design. Uh, he basically just sort of replaced uh, the T Rexes in uh, the original 1933 King Kong, which is very unfortunate. How? You know, he was just meant to be replaced with another dinosaur, you know, whatever. Very sad, but, I don't know, there's just something about Gorosaurus design I just like. I don't know what it is, even though it's so generic. I think because my favorite dinosaur is T-Rex, I can probably relate to that, because he looks a little like a T-Rex. I don't think he is a T-Rex, because I believe he has three claws, not two claws, plus the arms are ginormous, they're very large. So, he's not a T-Rex, he's like a... I don't know, really, Allosaurus or something. But he looks too chubby-ish, in my opinion, for Allosaurus. And also too, like, energetic. Because he can do the kangaroo kick, so. I don't know what dinosaur he is, honestly. Maybe, like, Allosaurus or something. I mean, I've thought my whole entire life that he was a T-Rex. But now that I realize his arms are, like, very long, and that there are three claws in his arms, that makes no sense as a T-Rex. But anyways, uh, there is a YMSF Gorosaurus figure, and there's also a Bandai Gorosaurus figure from, I believe it was from 1998, I believe that's when it was made. The Bandai Gorosaurus looks pretty awesome. I think I prefer the YMSF version. There's two YMSF versions. There's one with the mouth open, and there's another one with the mouth closed. And I believe the one with the mouth open is more rare, I think. I'm not really sure, honestly, but I think it is. So, come on, let's see a super articulated Gorosaurus. Like, maybe you can do, like, uh, the kangaroo kick, except in a, like, different way. I don't know how you can do it a different way. But I just really want to see a super articulated Gorosaurus figure. And NECA could might as well just do this. This is the perfect opportunity to do Gorosaurus. Come on, do Gorosaurus. Do Gorosaurus. Okay, so that's number three. Number two is Orga. Orga, very deformed kaiju. Um... I honestly don't really care if they did the other forms, like the Millennium form, the UFO form, the, you know, what have you. I don't really care if they do those. Those are not really so, like, amazing looking or whatever. I mean, they could probably make the UFO as, like, a little accessory or something. But I don't really care for the Millennium or whatever it is. Or actually, probably I do. No, I don't really care for the Millennium. I just want to see Orga. Orga, as I already mentioned, very deformed kaiji. I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos, that like he's very deformed. Yes, that's true. He's not the most deformed kaiju. Number one is Hedora, obviously. He's, like, or it's deformed all over the place. But, um, <clears throat> Orga, there's a lot of variations of the Bandai figures. There's a regular Orga figure. It has a green, excuse me, one more time about green, what the heck. It has this gray shadings in the back. And then there's another Orga figure with no shadings at all, like no color. And then there's another Orga figure with like a shading of brown, I believe it was. And then there's a Theta exclusive Orga that's limited of only 10 around the whole entire globe. And it's basically green vinyl. And I'm not sure if they injected, um, oh, I can't believe I just forgot the word, uh, those sprinkles things or whatever. I'm not sure if they injected that into the vinyl. But I don't think they did. I think it's just a plain green color. It costs three thousand five hundred dollars. Definitely not worth it. I'll probably buy that maybe like for around forty bucks, but not three thousand five hundred bucks. Come on, seriously, wow. But Orga, Orga. Um, there's a website as in Monster Arts did. Uh, it's called as in Monster Arts Super Articulated Series, and there's this section called Forecast. A long time ago, they predicted that Orga was supposed to be announced on December 2014. Uh, Rodan was supposed to be announced also, and, uh, well, what is it? Monster X also, and Magirus. And I don't know how many else, what other kaijus they predicted. But, um, if that's the case, then yes, as in Monster X, go ahead. Go ahead and do the Orga figure. The neck, on the other hand, um, they can also do that too. And another thing that I want them to improve on is the articulation. Uh, the Bandai Orga figures, they don't really, I mean, they have all right articulation. That's uh, five points articulation, the arms, the legs, and the tail. That's all right, but it's not plausible at all. Plus, the arms can rotate very, very, like, weird. Like, 
It just looks very odd, awkward. And also, the legs are actually bent. So it looks more shorter, more stubbier, and all that stuff, which I don't really like. I wish it was like... I mean, that position is pretty cool. But I wish you can also make it where the Oreo figure is just standing up with no bending in the legs. So that's number two. Number one is my favorite kaiju... Excuse me, my favorite Godzilla kaiju, not counting Godzilla, Biollante. There is an Essie Monster Ride Biollante figure. It looks amazing looking. I think one problem I have with the Essie Monster Rides is maybe add like, maybe like two more vines or something. I think they can add a little more vines in it. And also I think it should be a little more chubbier, honestly, the Essie Monster Ride Biollante. Those are my um, opinions about the Essie Monster Ride Biollante. But overall, it's a very, very epic figure. And let's see how NECA can do this. I mean, I honestly think the Essence Monsters brands is better than NECA brands. But, you know, they're still, they're still out there as, you know, one of the best uh, toy lines, in my opinion. They're still out there, maybe like number three or something like that, number two. Not number two, like number four, number three, somewhere around there. But maybe for the NECA, they can actually add two more tentacles. Like, maybe six tentacles instead of four. But I don't think they're going to do that. They might just stick with two instead because, you know, their laziness. Yeah, their laziness. Trespasser, they use Trespasser to mold, like, I don't know how many times. They use it for the battle damage knife head, the Trespasser, you know, obviously. Uh, Scunner, they used it. They're using it for the, um, the axe head figure, which is basically the same exact thing as Trespasser, except it's like the concept art. Uh, they're making the regular knife head with that. Five figures using the same exact molds. That's laziness. Oh my god. That's, wow. That's like milking their figures. So it's basically going to be the same exact thing with this. They might just add two instead. Hopefully it's not one because that will suck. But come on, Nick. Uh, like, if you want them to, if you want to do business, then might as well just make the figures better. Come on. I mean... The figures are already good and all, but just don't be so lazy as you are. Like, maybe make, a, like, a new, entire new sculpt just for, like, I don't know, the new knife head figure or something. Just make a new, a whole entire new sculpt for them. I mean, you could use some part, maybe the, the arm, maybe the little legs and all that. Just the main stuff. But you can do the chest, you can do the tail, you can do the... The shell, you can do that. You can do the face. You can do the neck. You can do all this. Just borrow something. Maybe just the legs, the um, the two little arms. I'm talking about Pacific Rim right now. So, and then the two large arms, the tail, and the end. That's all you need. You can just sculpt the rest of the figure. But into Biolante. Uh, hopefully they're not so cheap. And they do, and they do two lines. Hopefully they do six. Hopefully. And uh, I want it to be a little more chubbier, make it be ginormous, not 7 inch, don't make it 7 inch, make it like 8 inch, eight, uh, what am I talking about right now? My tongue was just twisting my, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But 8 inches tall, make it 8 inches tall. Because the Essence Monster version doesn't really size up correctly with your other figures. And Balante is ginormous, she's wide and she's very tall. So they can apply it with that with the Biolante, the NECA. And I think NECA does most of the big the big figures, such as the 18 inch uh, Gypsy Danger and all that stuff they did, and also the 7 inch Pacific Rim figures. Trespasser is actually 8 inches tall, so this is perfect. NECA can might as well just do an 8 inch Biolante figure. So that's basically all for this video. Subscribe, like, and comment. This is the Kaiju signing out.